Hi there, welcome to the Friday edition of Journeys Interactive. I'm Bernice Abubedu. Today we'll be talking, yes, again about free SHS because, you know, uh, the government has decided to, you know, drum a message home and they have dismissed two headmasters and interdicted nine others for various offences. I'll be telling you what these offences are and pick your comments as well. Today is also a Friday, so sure, we'll be doing Relationship Friday. Today's topic is an interesting one. We are asking you how you would tell a friend to dump their partner. That's a very delicate issue. But you know, sometimes we feel like we have to help some friends out. And also, the fight against Galamse is on and government says it's in the process of acquiring some drones to aid the fight. And the drones cost $3 million. A lot of you have been sharing your thoughts with us on Facebook. And obviously, I'll be bringing you a video of the day. So let's start off with the free SHS program. After sending a stern warning to all heads of uh, uh, public institutions, that's public secondary schools, not to charge unapproved fees, the government has gone a step further to show they mean business. Two headmasters have been relieved of their duties because they were charging unapproved fees and nine have been interdicted for various offenses. Among, you know, the nine is uh, one who allegedly uh, cut down the number of students he he would have space to admit uh, by half and so uh, there's some investigation ongoing but a lot of you have been sharing your thoughts with us on this particular one Christine Nana Akusia Bediaku says it's a good move we are on the right track Ghana will work again hopefully corruption and indiscipline will be less and she's got five likes for that comment Oliver K says hey what a distinct change some government appointees did worse within nine months but what happened to them this Pilolo administration is always surprising its citizens every day and there are five replies to Oliver K's comment there and if you just joined the show we are, we are talking about two headmasters who've been sacked or relieved of their post uh, for charging unapproved fees and what's happened is that they've been asked to go back to the classroom and teach and so they will not be headmasters again of their schools and there are five replies to that let's quickly take the five replies on Oliver K's comment and uh, Kojo Brennan says, if you've ever traveled outside Ghana, you'll understand discipline. It's what's moving uh, countries up. And uh, says they were warned. Yaya Imaro says, and, that, and does that justify the wrongs of these headmasters? And Kojo Bene says, but who? Abba Kojo Bene, I so love you. You're going to go far for this comment. And Don Shatter says, keep quiet. Our motto is, we are moving forward. What is wrong with dealing with indisciplined headmasters all right let's pick more comments on this bright ben bella he Heathrow says i would like you to investigate the headmaster of, all right he's also uh, asking the government to focus on, on another school and he thinks that the headmaster that is demanding parents provide a very tall list uh, well it's not only that school right well what we know is that all fresh students are asked to you know, fulfill what's in their prospectus. Paco Siyabwa says, it seems all right. Nano Poku says, selective justice. Jehovah God will not forgive a kufad on his substandard. Oh, all right. That's what he chooses to refer them as. Substandard contaminated MPP government for the harm they are causing to innocent Ghanaians. Nano Poku, what harm, if you don't mind telling us? Neotet says, tomorrow too, your motive could be right. But when your actions are wrong, it makes whatever you've done wrong. All right. Mbola Kolbe says, sacked and interdicted for saying the truth. All right. And what is the truth here uh, in Bola? And uh, Emmanuel Ninkap says, when you want their names. All right. Oh, anyway, I'm, I'm not sure we should be having uh, an ethnic conversation about this. I don't think that's the way to go. Edward Miller says, they can't spoil government policies. These headmasters should be arrested. As he thinks that sucking them is not enough. And... Um, Kojavana says, anybody who makes it difficult for government interventions must face the law. Chiefs must be warned also. So, you know, let's move away from this because I'm sure you'll be hearing a lot of that later in the news because they're picking reactions from teacher unions and all that. But remember, in the initial discussion uh, stage in the fight against Galamse, the use of drones featured, you remember that? Well, Lands and Natural Resources Minister John Peter Meu has revealed that government is in the process of acquiring some drones to help in the fight against Galamse, and it's going to cost $3 million. 
dollars and we've been picking your reactions uh, on this particular one with some says uh, please ask the honorable minister to furnish uh, us with specifications of these drones we really need to know what type of drones will cost three million dollars unless it's helicopter this thing all right thank you we will do that uh, with some christine nana kusia bediaku says almost about three million dollars that's too much can't they look at other options what if there were no drones what would they have done it's important to protect our environment but in this economy and three million dollars well they should give us some more details it will be appreciated jackson miller says i'm not actually i'm sure you mean concerned about how much it costs taxpayers in procuring the drones but um you only want the minister to tell us categorically how these drones are going to be used in fighting illegal mining just flying drones in space to me does not really make any difference in this galamsey fight all right uh, we'll pick more comments quickly on this particular matter and kofi enu dadzi says as he's actually asking three million dollar drones wow mr honorable please and please three million dollars can do a lot for those illegal miners, why don't you just establish them with that money instead of spending it on drones to protect our environment, which is good, but teaming youth will be unemployed, please. My idea, anyway, uh, sure, the minister will hear your idea, Kofi. Increased carbon says, for sure, the Galamseas will shoot down the drones. Imagine all these toy drones shut down, meaning all the monies used in purchasing the drones will also go down the drain. They should rethink again. Ah, uh, John Coomson. Uh, things this is lies he says what sophisticated weapons are the galamseas using all right i'm sure it's uh, replying increased covers comment there isaac nah says drones cost that much now not this thing uh, okay we will we, we'll wait to see and then our boys are hungry when will the factories come he's asking lambo and abu Bakari says three million dollars for well, a common drone we are not sure this is a common drone because it cost a lot uh, then they should better use their money to buy helicopters for Operation Vanguard. All right, so we hear that these drones are not the type of drones you see flying around, you know, at your wedding ceremonies and events, you know, the ones that regular camera guys use. These are quite sophisticated and uh, will fit the purpose for which they are being used. But Apia Kusi says, uh, this government is an enemy of moderate miners. Let's wait if none of the government officials uh, will not steal any person. Joshua Mafo AJ says, that's too much, please. Don't start what the previous government did. Uh, did you ask the number of drones they are buying before finalizing? Uh, all right. He thinks it's an emotional story. Nana P says they should visit Wasami if you are still mining here. All right. Chantel Kufour says we'll catch the drones and use them for selfies. Chantel, I'm not sure these drones can't be used for selfies. Anyway, that's her comment. Uh, but let's move on quickly to another issue. Move on to another issue uh, that is trending and has to do with the Office of the Special Prosecutor. We are asking, is it a democratic necessity or a needless duplication? Share your thoughts with us and, uh, you know, just, just the way to tease you and let you know that today, here on this station, Ghana Connect at 5.30 on Joy News, online and on radio, we'll be having this discussion with people uh, who would, you know, dissect the issues, bring some good analysis uh, to the fore. And uh, we'll pick your comments quickly on this particular one. And uh, right after this, please don't go away. We'll be back. Thank you so much for staying here on Joy News Interactive. Is the Office of the Special Prosecutor a democratic necessity or a needless duplication? Well, you know, the minority have been speaking and they said this is not going to be really independent as the you know, party in position wants us to believe or the government wants us to believe because the Special Prosecutor will be working on the orders of the Attorney General. But what do you think? Uh, Kwabna Brufa says whether democratic or needless, all Ghanaians want to see is that corrupt officials are prosecuted and a refund of our stolen monies with interest. All right, Kojo Bene says, my question is, why is Yoko and the BNI not rather given the authority to prosecute? The independent prosecutor's office, he thinks, is needless. Politicians are clever, let's think. If no one wants to fight corruption, he can give the investigation institution's authority to prosecute and we'll see how Ghana will be. Kaleo Maestro says it's just a needless duplication and a waste of the taxpayers' money. So they want to tell us the Attorney General and her two deputies can't carry out the prosecutions, eh? 
It's so pathetic uh, that we always give power to these, all right, okay, politicians, and they tend to throw dust in our eyes and milk the nation with all their machinations. I bet you corruption is going to happen. All right, uh, Khalil, I think you're getting quite emotional there. But Franklin Dashwood also thinks that it's needless. Mm. Says this is because it's human beings that are going to work in that office and they're appointed by another human being. Now, the AG's office, which is from the same faction, is there and must be strengthened to work independently. And there'll be no need for any special prosecutor. Andrews Tachukumilabi says, we gave the NDC power and they only created and shared the country's money. The power has been given to the MPP and they are creating this portfolio to strengthen our judiciary. Well, he thinks it's necessary and they've done a good job. They're doing what will help the country. Oyibo Boating says, the office of the special prosecutor is a democratic necessity. It will keep the rot and kanka in our various institutions. Now, Sir Hassan Yaima says, you know what? It's a democratic necessity. Unless some people are afraid of something, it's something we should encourage the government to do. Uh, it calls it, Jen says, jail them all. And says, hashtag, just a citizen. Prince Nuruddin Balmia says, whether needless or democratic. Um, can we just scroll up quickly a bit? I missed the first line over there. Whether needless or democratic necessity, those corrupting, uh, corrupted or created loot and share must be prosecuted to serve as a deterrent to others. Emmanuel Kwajo says, it will be democratic necessity if its functions are well defined and uh, the special prosecutor is given the free mandate to operate. All right. Bachman Sheriff Kofi says it's a necessity to check those greedy, corrupt officials. So you know what? This conversation is not going to end here. We're going to have that on Ghana Connect today. And it will be live on TV, on radio, and online. And it's 5.30 p.m. Do make a date. Now let's have our conversation on Relationship Friday now. Hmm. This is probably one of the most difficult things to do. If you had to tell a friend to dump their partner, how would you go about it? What's the best way to tell your best friend, you know what, I think you should ditch this guy or girl. This is a big one if you ask me. But what would you do? And how would you do it? Uh, Deron says, girls are best at it. They start by downgrading the guy. He isn't your class. He isn't cute. He isn't civilized. He's poor, etc. And then top it with, I saw your guy with a girl having lunch at KFC. From how he reacted when he saw me, I think they are lovers, all right? He's got two reactions to their laugh and alike. Frederick Okala says, doesn't the friend also have problems? I believe God will never forgive such a person. He or she didn't bring them together to marry. So Frederick thinks it's none of your business if your friend is in a relationship with another guy. What you think is not their business, just allow them to be. Ote and Ponsa Enoch says, I'll just go like, hey, dump that guy or girl, as simple as A, B, C, D. But wait a minute, why should I be the one giving that advice? And he's laughing loud at his own comment. Wellington Atishabi says, simply invite him or her to lunch, eat to your satisfaction. Then give him or her a kiss and tell them it's over. I think Wellington didn't understand the question. We are not talking about how you break up with your partner. We are talking about the, well, probably a more difficult one. How would you tell your friend that, you know what, I think you should ditch this guy or girl? <laughs> Tim Kwame says, I don't know about the ladies, but this is very easy among guys. Really? I thought it was rather easier for ladies. I don't know. Praise no Dean Balmia says, very interesting, but it doesn't educate viewers. I've got two replies to that. I want to know what people think about Prince Nuruddin Balmia's comment. All right, Kojo Bennett says, but aren't we tired of learning? This is time to play, time to get distressed. Uh, okay, Baum, yeah. All right, he's asking if your uncle is the vice president. But let's move on quickly. If you just joined the show, we are talking about relationships and uh, how you will tell your best friend to ditch their partner. How will you do that? I'm not sure I can do that. <laughs> Invited Robert to say, just tell him the person is not meant for him or her. It's not that easy, guy. Collins Hadzi says, why should I be the one to tell someone to dump their partner? Which one is my concern? All right. And then Patrick says, all right, we sc scrolled up. Mansuri Drisu Himagu says, behind every beautiful girl, there's an ugly girl telling her not to accept 
your proposal. Okay, that going to be cracking up. Chris Jose says, just tell him my reasons to break it off. It's up to him to take it or not. I think Chris also didn't understand the question, but it's okay. Chris, um, oh, another Chris, Fafali, says, how does this bring moral values and sanity? Oh, I think they are not serious. You have no idea till you're confronted with these guys. That sometimes you know something about your friend's partner and you are wondering, how do I disclose this? Ayumpusa Matthew says, I'll just set him up with a more beautiful girl than his partner. And that will end their relationship. Simple. All right. Yeah, interesting strategy. So he's not going to tell them dump or whatever. He's just going to try and get you a more beautiful girl. But is beauty the only reason for a relationship? Well, I don't know. McLean Andrews Agbenyo says that I think if things are getting out of hand, I can only tell him simply to advise himself. All right, so let's move on quickly. That'll be all for this edition of Joy News Interactive. I did have a lot of fun reading your comments. And uh, obviously, like I mentioned, please stay with us here on Joy News because we'll be bringing you Ghana Connect at 5.30 p.m. today here on radio, online, and uh, on TV as well. And it's basically discussing the office of the special prosecutor. My name is Benis. I'll be back at 12 with more news.